Back home to the TSL and Glenorchy got through Saturday's preliminary final against Bernie unscathed, meaning it'll have a full squad to pick from for Saturday's grand final against North Launceston. While that's good news for the Magpies, it would cause coach Aaron Cornelius some serious selection headaches. There's usually a hard luck story in grand final week. Unfortunately, an entire squad doesn't fit into 22 positions. It's hard, um, but in the end, obviously, um, players need to understand it's for the greater good, and, and that's the way footy is. It's, you know, there's, there's plenty of players before them who have obviously missed out on grand finals, and they will be moving forward. Glenorchy progressed to this Saturday's season decider after thrashing Bernie in the preliminary final. It was a, obviously an emphatic win, but uh, we know that that's, uh, that's not going to be a sign of anything this weekend. Despite finishing the season as minor premiers, the Magpies got to the grand final the hard way after losing to the Bombers in their semi-final clash. North Launceston have, have gone the hard route and so have Hawthorne. Um, so obviously not putting ourselves in the, in the Hawthorne bracket, but um, it's, it's not that that hasn't been performed before and, and we're certainly ready for it. Cornelius will avoid using any psychologists or motivational speakers to prepare his team for the grand final. In the end it actually adds to the nerves. Uh, once you have a club of legend or three come through, I mean in the end you know, we've uh, got a couple of opening training sessions this weekend and I'm sure all the guys will have family members contact them. And... Saturday's match will see two of the competition's best coaches go head to head and Cornelius believes his relationship with Zane Littlejohn has turned into quite the rivalry. I personally do, I don't know, I'm sure Zane would be in the same boat, he's a very competitive person and I know that uh, obviously you just have to watch him operate on, on game day he likes to get into it and gets pretty emotional so um, I'm, I'm saying we're just obviously on behind glass. It could be a memorable day for the Magpies on Saturday particularly for Jay Bowden. He was named in the top 10 for this season's Alistair Lynch medal today and is red hot favourite to claim the award at the grand final luncheon. The person and accolades are very nice and he's a tremendous player and he certainly deserves everything that he gets but I know that he wants the team success and, and we want to try and help him along that way. Saturday's grand final starts at the later time of 2.30. Back home and North Launceston coach Zane Littlejohn has put the pressure firmly on Glenorchy ahead of this Saturday's TSL grand final at Aurora Stadium. While acknowledging they'd love to win another premiership, he says the Bombers are comfortable with what they've achieved over the past three seasons. North Launceston is gunning for its third straight flag and given they've already got two under their belt, the Bombers coach believes Glenorchy should be the team under the microscope. They're well coached, well drilled and obviously they've been the running minor, minor premiers for the last two years so um, to be in that situation, I've got no doubt they'll be super hungry to try and make sure they get a premiership and um, you know probably the pressure's on them to make sure that happens where we're, um, we're quite comfortable in our own skin of what we've achieved. Realistically, the Bombers should start the match as favourite, given they knocked off the Magpies two weeks ago, earning them a home grand final. Probably leading up into um, last week sat, sat pretty comfortably with me, but then Aaron comes out and says he's more confident about winning this week compared to last week. So, and then they win that game by 94 points, so I hate to know what he's going to do to us. And the hits kept coming. There's a lot of talk about Ace calling us the favourite, which is fantastic, and if he wants to go with that title, but... He probably needs to make sure his players understand the same because there's a lot of players in their, in their camp think that it's theirs to lose. Yesterday, Cornelius said he enjoys his rivalry with Little John, but the Bombers coach insists there isn't one. I've always said at this footy club it's not about one person, so it's about us as a footy club. There's a rivalry between the North Launceston Football Club and Glenorchy. The secret to the Bombers' semi-final success was getting under the Magpies' skin, forcing them to give away a number of crucial free kicks. That's how we like to approach our footy. We like to approach with a warfare mentality, um, do anything it takes to win. So if that's one way we can get under their skin and get an advantage, yeah, we'll, we'll do it, yeah. This will be Little John's last match as North Launceston coach, with his players hoping to give him a fond farewell. He's the best coach in Tassie. He's the best coach I've ever had. So, um, yeah, it'd be great to send him off with that, but not just for him, but for the whole footy club would be, yeah, enormous. End of the day, it's a grand final. If you're not motivated for this, you probably never will be. First bounce in Saturday's grand final is at 2.30. Brent Costello, Win News. Well, you often see two brothers playing with or against each other on the football field, but on Saturday that will extend to umpiring. 22-year-old Bradley Chamberlain has been goal umpiring since 2010 and has now been rewarded for his hard work. It's great to finally get uh, the big game after a couple of times on the bench and I'm really looking forward to it. And if umpiring the grand final wasn't special enough in its own right, he'll get to do it alongside his brother, 19-year-old Lucas, who'll be running the boundary. We've done a few games together and it's always a bit of a laugh beforehand, but 
in the game, I almost don't notice it, but it will be uh, good fun with him. Originally it was just for money for me, but you know, it's so much more than that now. It's the social thing and the fitness and just having a good time, that sort of thing. For the younger of the Chamberlains, it's been a tough road to the top. A couple of years ago I fractured my wrist while umpiring, so I missed out a long period of time and then just, you know, a couple of poor performances, that sort of thing. The secret of their success is hard work on the training track. We do a lot of running and core fitness and we also do skills. So we go through scenarios, so different kicks with players in different positions to try and practice for game day. While umpiring the TSL Grand Final is the pinnacle of Tasmanian football, both young men have their sights set a little higher. Oh look, I'd love to umpire in the AFL and if this is a step on the way then that's fantastic. Now that I've reached this goal, you never know, who knows what will happen. Nick Saltmarsh and Joel Harris will each umpire their third Grand Final, Mark Tuckett his second. It'll be boundary umpire Adam Reardon six in a row with Reese Goodyear making his debut. Brent Costello, Win News.